Now I've been making Hackintosh tutorials for quite some time now and I've always talked about how you can run Mac OS X and Windows on one machine but here finally I'm going to show you how to run Mac OS X, Yosemite and Windows 10 on a single drive. This tutorial also applies to running Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 so if you're interested in doing something like this stay tuned and I'll show you how to dual boot Mac OS X and Windows onto one machine. Now first we're going to talk about the things that you need to have. Firstly you're going to need a machine that's capable of running Mac OS X and Windows and you're also going to need access to a computer that's already running Mac OS X. This could be a uh, MacBook Pro or an iMac. It could be even a Hackintosh. You're also going to need an 8 gigabyte or larger flash drive for the Unibeast Mac OS X installer and lastly you're going to need a copy of Windows whether that would be on an 8 gigabyte or larger USB drive or on a DVD that you bought from the store. Now if you do want a written step-by-step -step guide check out the description for my instafuse.com article where you'll find the links and exact instructions as well as if you haven't installed Mac OS X before I would highly recommend watching my Hackintosh tutorial that I just put up for installing Mac OS X onto your PC so you're up to speed on how things kind of work. Now step one is to create our Mac OS X UniBeast USB and our Windows USB. So first you want to go onto your computer that that's running Mac OS X already and download the full version of Mac OS X 10.10 .10 Yosemite from the App Store as well as Unibeast and Multibeast from TonyMaxx86.com. Once all your downloads are done, go ahead and open up Unibeast and uh, go through the installer utility to make your bootable Mac OS X a USB drive. Again, for more in-depth information on how to do each exact step, definitely check out my full Hackintosh guide. But once Unibeast is done configuring your USB, you want to go ahead and take the multi-beast folder that we just downloaded and just drag it onto the USB that we just configured. Next we're just going to create a bootable Windows USB drive. I'm actually using the preview version of Windows 10 but the process is pretty much identical if you do download a retail copy of Windows 8.1 or Windows 7. You basically uh, download the ISO file and extract it onto your USB drive and you should have a bootable USB configured. Now if you do have a retail version of Windows on a disk you can pretty much skip the step that we just took. Now at this point we should have two USB drive one containing the OS 10 installer the other one containing the Windows installer. And moving on to step two we're going to boot into the Mac OS 10 installer. So you want to go ahead and insert your Unibeast thumb drive that we just configured. You're going to then turn on your computer and hit the delete key to enter into the BIOS mode. You want to make sure that your SATA settings are set to AHCI not IDE or RAID. Then go ahead and exit and save by pressing F10 and uh, as you do so the computer is going to restart and you want to press either F12 or F8 depending upon your motherboard and you'll enter into the boot menu and here you'll see the uh, boot options that we have available to us. Obviously we want to pick the USB drive that has uh, the Unibeast Mac OS X installer on it and once you select that USB thumb drive you'll get into the Chimera bootloader and just go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard and you'll start to see the load screen for the Mac OS X installer and once you get in there you want to go ahead and select the language and if you look at the very top of the screen you'll see utilities select disk utilities from that menu and here you can see that we have our 500 gigabyte hard drive and we can go ahead and select that hard drive because that's the one that we want to install both Windows and Mac OS 10 onto go into the partitions tab you want to add two partitions and go to options and just make sure that you're set to GUID partition table and uh, just go ahead and select the top partition we're going to name this Macintosh and uh, you want to format that in Mac OS extended journaled and uh, the bottom partition we're going to simply name Windows and that is going to be formatted in MS DOS fat and once you've done all that go ahead and hit apply and I'll start partitioning the hard drive into two segments and once everything is completed you can exit out of disk utilities and uh, just go through the Mac OS X installer until you get to the drive options and you want to just go ahead and select the uh, Mac Macintosh partition that we just made. Select continue and now it'll install Mac OS X onto that partition and when it's completed it's just going to restart your computer. You want to go ahead and get into the boot menu again and you can do that by hitting either F8 or F12. We're going to again select our USB thumb drive and at the Chimera bootloader we want to make sure the little icon that's labeled Macintosh because that's the partition that we just installed OS X onto and once you do select that it's 
it's going to start up the initial process of booting into Mac OS X for the first time. And you just go through the initial setup process. So once you're done going through all those initial settings, you're going to be presented with the Mac OS X Yosemite desktop, as you see over here. And here we're going to just go ahead and uh, go onto our USB drive and drag the MultiBeast folder onto our desktop. We're going to open up MultiBeast from that folder. And what you want to do is just install your basic drivers. Uh, I only need audio and networking. And you want to make sure that you're not installing any bootloaders. You don't want to install the Chimera bootloader right now. Just the initial drivers to get things up and running for your network and for your audio and things like that. And once MultiBeast is done doing its thing, you would just want to go ahead and shut down your computer. And we can now move on to step four, which is installing Windows. So at this moment, you can go ahead and take out the USB drive that has Mac OS 10 on it and insert the Windows USB drive that we configured earlier in this video and turn on your PC. Again, mash F8 or F12 to get into the boot menu and boot into that USB that has Windows on it. And now you can see the Windows installer is now loading up. And once we get into there, you want to just go ahead and select your language, agree to the terms. And once you get to this screen over here, you want to make sure that you're selecting custom advanced. So once you get into that, we have an option to actually choose which hard drive and which partition that we're going to install Windows onto. You can see that we have a partition labeled Windows as we made in the Mac OS X installer. So you definitely want to select that and uh, go ahead and format and press OK. And if for whatever reason you formatted the partition and it's not allowing you to install Windows onto it, you can try to restart your computer and select that partition again. And most likely it will allow you to install Windows onto that partition. But after you selected the Windows partition, you just want to go ahead and complete the installation. It might take a little while depending upon how fast your drive is. But once Windows is done installing onto your drive, it's just going to automatically restart. And when it is, you just want to take out the USB drive that we have in there and it's going to boot into Windows and it's going to start configuring itself. So just be patient. But eventually you get to the initial configuration settings. So you just go ahead and configure your account information and everything like that. And eventually you get to the Windows desktop and you can go ahead and install everything you need in terms of drivers. Just treat this as a new version of Windows that you would typically install in any PC. But once you have everything done and configured right for Windows, you can go ahead and shut down the computer. And that will take us to our final step, which is installing our bootloader. So you want to go ahead and insert the Unibeast flash drive again for the last time and turn on your computer, go into the boot menu and boot up into that USB flash drive. And once you get into the Chimera bootloader, you want to select our Macintosh installation. And once you get onto the desktop of Mac OS X, you want to again open up MultiBeast. And here we're going to finally install our bootloader. What I like to use is the DSTT free option, which is going to completely configure my bootloader. The key thing is uh, making sure that you are installing that Chimera bootloader because that is what is going to enable you the option of selecting which OS to boot from when you first turn on your computer. And once everything is done, you want to go ahead and close MultiBeast, shut down the computer, take out the USB drive that's already in there, and it's going to automatically boot into the Chimera bootloader. And once it does, you're going to see this auto loader. You want to go ahead and quickly press any key on the keyboard. And at this point, you want to go ahead and congratulate yourself because now you have the choice of either running OS X or Windows on your PC. So every time you turn on your computer, you're going to have that option. So therefore, you can choose whichever OS you want to run at any given time. But other than that, guys, that's really it. If you have any specific questions about anything I talked about in this video, please make sure to leave that on a comment down below and definitely check out some of the forums that are available online. There's lots of resources out there for you. If I can't get your answer answered over here, um, I'll definitely try my best to get to everyone's concerns, but there's a lot of variables involved with different hardware and different specifications and the way you configure your own setup. But if you're following my instructions and you have a similar kind of hardware, you should be pretty good in terms of most concerns. Again, if you're doing this for the first time, you definitely want to check out my full guide on how to install Mac OS X on a PC, uh, which is up on the channel as well as my site. All those links are in the description down below, but make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, thank you so much for watching we'll see you later take care